Hey everybody. On the road again. Yeah. I uh, got a stolen truck. <laughs> I'm gonna steal. Well, not steal. I'm gonna get all the fucking metal and ceramic I can get my hands on. Load in this truck. And I'm gonna push out that road. It's gonna be this whole episode. So what happens when you try and do a wheelie in this thing? <laughs> nope, nope, doesn't. <laughs> it just boom. It just turns. Yeah. Uh, okay. Like, you're just gonna move this other way. Yeah, this bike has been there for too long. It's in the middle of the road. It needs to fuck off. Okay. In Midnight Club, one of my favorite racing games ever on the PS2. Aged terribly, but funny as hell. There's literally a button to make you go up in two wheels, so you can get through alleyways and stuff like that. The only Midnight Club I'm familiar with is the Netflix show. What? Yeah, it's about about. I, I think I mentioned it back when it was new. It's a a, a hospice home for like teenagers who are about to die. Well, that's depressing. Yeah, it's very depressing. Don't <laughs> make something like well. Well, like it's what's... based off like a novel from the nineties, but um. It's really cool. The, the the midnight club part is uh, all the kids sneak out at midnight to tell each other ghost stories that they've written, and they have like this like deal that like the first one of them who dies has to like try and come back as a ghost and talk to everybody. And that's like I'm intrigued. Yeah, it's it's honestly a good show. But Pretty impressive. sure it got cancelled like two days after it was released. Oh, for fuck's sake! It, yeah, I don't know what the fuck's going on at Netflix. Like. It's, it's to the not point. even that they cancel stuff. Yeah, like, I, I, there's stuff that got cancelled that was like, it wasn't very popular. I no. liked it, but it wasn't super popular. No. I can see why it got cancelled. Oh, yeah. But it's when they're cancelling stuff two days after they get released. Yeah. Is that you don't even know if people like it yet. Yeah. It's, it's just crazy to me. Mm. Like, like, I love the show Counterpart. Yeah. I don't think I'll ever watch it now. Because... it got cancelled. Yeah, it got cancelled and it ends on a cliffhanger. So, screw that. There's no point. I've got the first um, DVD, I started watching it, then I found that out and just stopped there and then. It's truly pointless. Hmm. And it really hurts me because it's got my favourite actor as the lead role, so... Yeah. But, um... What's his face, isn't it? J.K. Simmons. Yeah, that's that. That's that show. Jonathan Gimmel Simmons. I remember the ads for that. That looked like a good show. Oh, it was badass. What's it on? Ugh, don't even know. I think it might be Stars or something like that. That we don't even get here. I literally had to watch it through DVD. And this is the thing. Didn't come on Blu-ray. Only came on DVD only. A really shitty quality. They're even starting to do things on Blu-rays, which is standard quality on Blu-ray. Yeah. yeah. Which I mean, it's not bad because it doesn't mean you have to di disc swap all the time. It's just got all shit, like a fuckload of episodes on it. Yeah. Still though. Mm. It's gotten to the point where I'm not going to start watching something until it has five seasons at least. Yeah. Um. Just every minute. Ooh. A mutual favorite of ours is Owl House, which is yeah. a Disney TV show. Becky gets at me because for not being woke, but this is pretty much the most woke thing we watched. Well, I wouldn't really say woke. Like it doesn't rub in your face. Yeah, I wouldn't. Cool. Like woke is. You have to watch this, or else you get um, you're homophobic or some shit like that. No, that's what really backwards people think woke means. <laughs> I get. I really feel like you have bad news sources. I don't even watch news, so I don't know. Well, then I don't know where you get this shit from. Okay. Wait, can I put stuff... I would on? call Owl House inclusive. Yes. It doesn't rub everything in your face. It's quite a good show. Yeah. I would agree. Mm -hmm. Um, clay materials... We started watching that and got really into it because it's a generally good show. And Disney is like, we don't need that shit. Yeah. I'm sorry. Good entertainment? Are you crazy? And then Disney decided they fucked up. Yeah. When they saw the viewership on the YouTube channel. Because the thing is, they hadn't released the 
the third and final series, which are yeah. like movie like episodes. And yet they'd cancel. <laughs> yeah. And then they saw like how much viewers these were getting per day and thought, oh, fuck. <laughs> like they even like wrote wow. out, not like an apology letter, but like <laughs> acknowledging they majorly fucked up. Without saying sorry, basically. Yeah. Okay, what's happening? It keeps trying to load the lightest possible stuff. Okay. But yeah, they've got the entire third season. They've edited it together to make one big movie. And it just fits so well. Yeah. I'm back. And they ended so perfectly. Don't wanna hear it. Okay. Confirm. The system is fucking busted. Do you know how King in the show is a Titan? Hang on. Yeah? He gets his own glyph language. Oh, that's why. Apparently, glyph languages are um, based off those titans. Yeah. So if you're a different titan, you've got a different glyph language. Yeah. I'm, I'm truly just losing my mind over here. What? Okay, so I do have shit on my back, so I can't take them with me. Alright. Place in private locker. Yeah. That was a nightmare. You can sort of gather what happens anyway. Yeah. But I'm not gonna spoil it. No, don't. So stop talking about it. At all. <laughs> like you. <coughs> Whenever I ask Nathan not to spoil something for me, that truly becomes the only thing he wants to talk about. It's... <laughs> insufferable. What's one thing that you really enjoy that just got cancelled out of fucking nowhere? Um... I mean, truly so many Netflix shows. Midnight Club for one, um... I Am Not Okay With This, I really love that. That was the actual name of a show, you just... Yeah. I Am Not Okay With This is the show. And it was another one that got... That one got cancelled... Like, it got released, like, in the opening days of the pandemic. Uh. So, like... And they, they couldn't film it. That was uh, the... And, yeah, and the numbers were, like, not great enough that they could justify... Mm -hmm. Like, forcing it during the pandemic. And then it just got to a point where they just... Like, everyone involved moved on. Like, um... The lead in that was, a. Uh, uh... Well, I haven't seen it, but the... You know, the druid girl in the new Dungeons & Dragons movie? I haven't seen it. Yeah. But, like, the one... You haven't seen the ads? The girl who turns into a giant fucking bear. No. Well, her, Sophia Lillis. She was the lead. Okay. <laughs> in that show. And it's like, well, now she's moved on to fucking bigger and better stuff. Which <laughs> is fair. So, and like, it, it wasn't exactly an indie show, but it wasn't, you know, multi million dollar films. Yeah. One thing I did like about Netflix is, like, how they've just got old shows and just, there you go, that's on there, that's on there, that's yeah. on there. That's See, like, that's the upside to Netflix. Yeah. The bad side to Netflix is it's that the they new make, stuff. Yeah, incredible new content. immediately. Like, I'm going through, back and watching, um, The Office again. Because yeah. I just like having in the background while I'm doing shit. Yeah. Um, still game, again. Yeah. I have been watching Chewing the Fat, which is the original TV show where they got the idea for... And Greg Hemphill, who plays um, Victor, the taller one. Yeah. He's actually Canadian and Scottish. Yeah. Born in Scotland, went out of Can Canada, <laughs> Canada for ages. Yeah. And yeah, he's got this weird tang of Canadian, then he has this really Scottish bro, boof, that just comes in. It's really weird to listen to. And this is back when, like, Tam and Winston and all those actors are in, like, the late 20s. Yeah. Oh. Like, um... The guy who played Tam was, um, played Tam when he was 29. Really? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. I mean, he didn't look pensionary, he was really 29. Nah. 
Guess that's makeup, huh? Yeah. Deep throwing something. Just oh holy as a deliver cargo. I'm doing it. God. I am pressing the baton. Yeah. Because I get the X to do anything, but it's also hold down X to move on. Oh yeah. And to be honest, like even though we curse them out so much, I think Disney Plus is still the best deal. You can get it. Uh, and down under, yeah, absolutely. Because it's got, like, a bit of everything. Yeah. Okay. Of all the things that X-Files to be on, Disney Plus. <laughs> yeah. Because for us, it's not separated to Disney Plus, nearly. Yeah. It's funny when, like, because that's, like, such a true thing in America, that, um... Like they joke about things being available on Hulu. Yeah. And like, but I'm watching you on Disney Plus. <laughs> yeah. Like, like you said, for Down Under, it's the best one. Yeah. Because like, it's got a bit of everything, and like over in America, that's like seven different. Yeah. Streaming stuff. It's wild that we get away with that. Yeah. It was like, if you want the best deal, just live in Australia. Yeah. And it's like one of the cheapest ones too. Just because just it's... Because, like, Disney already made so many things. Yeah. And this is just a way for them to make a little more money off those, so they don't have to make it yeah. big. Right? You've got every single Disney movie and TV show, mm. I think, known to man, just on there. Then other things. Like, when I'm looking for stuff on Netflix, if I can't find on Netflix, I can guarantee I can find on Disney+. Plus. Yeah. We had Prime for a little while. Then, like... Because it was on my card, and then my card got skinned and all that stuff. Oh. And I didn't um, update the stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm so not you... missing it, really. Yeah? No. I like Prime. But there's nothing I really want to watch on Prime. Yeah. Oh, no, God, like... my fucking eyeball. Sorry. Okay. Go on. All the things I wanted to watch on Prime, I watched. And that was it. Yeah. I didn't feel any compelling urge to watch anything else on no, I, 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 I'm still working through my queue on everything. <laughs> so, and I've become very, like, chop change. Like, oh, watch this. No, I'll watch this. Then I'll watch this. Then you end up watching something you've watched a million times before. Yeah, that's, uh... <clears throat> I've gotten in the habit of forcing myself to watch at least like, a couple hours of something I haven't watched yeah. before. Because uh, I notice you keep on changing my friggin' Simpsons play. I haven't watched The Simpsons in a long time. Oh, it's probably neither. She's got her own friggin' account, but she likes watching me because, like, it's got all the end stuff and stuff like that. Oh, because like, her one has. The child. <laughs> really? Yeah, we have to look at updating that. That's funny. How old is she now? 14. Yeah, this year. Gives a shit. <laughs> uh, she started playing Farm Destroyer and watching South Park, so yeah. Yeah. But I was, like, 12 wow. when I was. That takes me back. Yeah. <laughs> I think I was 12 when I started watching South Park. Yeah. I truly do not know how old I was. <sighs> That's all Prime. Mm-hmm. Well, Paramount Plus. Yeah. That costs an extra six dollars a month. Yeah. Because that's why I wanted um, Prime 4 was the British shows, but the Brit box. That's separate. Yeah. Everything's fucking separate. Oh. Like, if they offered just Britbox by itself, yeah, that would get that in the heart. Yeah. Because that was a friggin' stranglehold of Foxtel when that was a thing. Yeah. Like, everything I wanted to watch was on the holy shit super package. Yeah. We would have to buy all the movies, you have to buy all the sports, you have to buy all this. Yeah. Just so we can get the Discovery Channel. Yeah. And the basic cheap pack just had all the um, free-to-air channels plus a bit more. Yeah. And still ads. Oh, like the whole selling point of when um, Foxtel first released was no ads. Yeah. You pay a fee, you get the channels, you don't watch ads. Yeah. 
and then it became even worse than free to air. Yeah. It was. It got to the point where I was like watching something. I was watching ads and be like, "What the fuck am I actually watching?" Two minutes later, ad. Yeah. Manning. I thought Channel Seven was bad. <laughs> I can remember watching The Godfather with my grandmother. Yeah. And it was on free to air TV. And Jesus Christ, like that itself is almost three hours long without adverts. Yeah. You, we watched this, start watching this about, I think it was 8 o'clock or 7.30. Yeah. And it was like till after midnight before it started getting to the, like, the final phase. Yeah. And we were both like, it was like, I'm knackered but I just want to watch the end of this. Yeah. It's, uh, it's bad. Like the radar <laughs> model. Yeah. Like, free. Yeah. And that's like, the only but the thing is, like, books, like if let's imagine a world where it's like, like free to wear stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Like putting aside, like, let's assume everyone can afford at least one subscription service. Yeah. Putting aside money, uh, c can you name a news show on any streaming service? No, it's not parody. Yeah, because okay. um. that's not what they're for, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, where would anyone ever get news? Yeah. Like, if you, they just had, like, this basic one, like, um, um, on Foxtel, it was Sky News, which was just a 24-hour-a-day news channel. Yeah. If you just bought that for, like, say, two bucks a month, just have the news. But, like, no, but, like, my point is, um, yeah. like, there are no, there is no 24-hour thing on any no. streaming service. That's not how they work. So there'd be no more TV news. No. Nah. Which is like... Mind we got it all on our iPhones and shit now. Yeah, that's the thing. But that's what... That's the only problem is like, it's gonna make the... But it's hard to hold those people accountable. <laughs> yeah. It's making it obsolete for the older generations. Yeah. Like I know there's some old folks out there that could probably work some things. I'm sorry, what? I have no idea what the fuck's going on. But I know some 40 year olds that struggle to use the internet. Yeah. Like, I showed my grandmother my phone one day and her mind was just like. <coughs> she still has a line line. Yikes. Yeah. Confirm. Head out. Okay. This is, um. She's 93 this year. Your grandma? Yeah. Wow. Have a pleasant journey. That's pretty old. Pleasant journey. Keep on keeping Born in 1930. She saw World War II, the internet, Tesla, and it's all shit. It's and the lizard fuck people taking over <clears throat> the government. We knew about that for ages. Yeah. That's not you, Sparky. The government is beat. Oh yeah, we found out how my, um, me and Gregson decided how Ram is going to level up. Oh yeah? Yep. Oh yeah. Oh, I'll read it out. Cool. Because I think it'll be an interesting point of yeah. discussion. He and I had a conversation about how that was going to work for everyone other than me. Mm -hmm. Bitch, hurry up, I'm so hungry. From you. Yes. Oh, well, he's got it now. <laughs> this guy. I had a thought, so if you asked any, or I asked about evil organizations within our playthrough. Yeah. In the Starfinder game. And he just goes, What do you think about Ram being an investigative journalist? Your professional profession ability could be your journalism as well, if you roll well. What? <laughs> yeah. He didn't write this down really well. If I write, um, roll well. Yes. I get, like, a well-received news article. If I roll poorly, I just write down some crackpot conspiracy theory. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I just put down, Nat That's 20, cool. undeniable proof that, with photos that the leader is a serial killer. <laughs> Nat 1, the government is bees. <laughs> Which I think would be really fun. Yeah. Because I can just I like let that. my mind... I was, I was the one who actually originally suggested that they'd all be that our level up mechanic would be profession skills. Yeah. Because um, with me, 
Yeah, for me it was it's my streaming. Yeah. Yeah, of my charisma, and yours uses intelligence, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh, okay. we're out of time. Oh, really? Yeah. See you. Bye.